Hello everyone. Are you a WooCommerce store owner and want to make your store awesome? You must have seen the WooCommerce default boring dropdowns and want some attractive solution. Here it goes. In today's tutorial, we are going to cover how you can convert variation select dropdowns into beautiful color, images and button swatches for free from global attribute. Without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Create attributes. To do that, go to your dashboard. Click on attribute under the products option. Now, write your attribute name in the given name box and press add attribute. For this tutorial, we are going to create three attributes such as color, pattern and size. Step 2. Create variations. To create variations for all of your attributes, just go back to the dashboard and click on attributes under the products option. Now click on configure terms to create your variations for color attribute. Make your colors name one by one. For instance, we are going to create black, brown and chocolate color. Next, make variations for the pattern attribute by clicking configure terms. Here again, we are going to make the black, brown and chocolate pattern in the same process. Lastly, it's time to create your variation for the size attribute. For this tutorial purpose, let's create large, medium and small variations. Step 3. Add new product. To add a new product, go back to your dashboard. Then click on Add New under the Product option. Now add your product name. Then give the product description as you like. Select variable product from product data. Then click on attributes. Here choose your attributes one by one. To keep this tutorial simple and easy, we prefer choosing all attributes with all the available variations. But you can pick up your own. It's time to make variations for your attributes. So click on variations first. Then you'll find two options. Number one, generate variations and number two, add manually. If you press generate variations, it will create all the possible variations for the available attributes. But to make this tutorial simple, we're going to create through the Add Manually option. Now create your variations with the color, pattern and size attributes. After making your variations, don't forget to add an image and price. Make sure you have properly selected your images and it's also important to add the price per variation. Now it's time to add a featured image for the product. When everything is done, hit the publish button. To see your product, click on view product. Done, here's the product you just published. Step 4. Convert dropdowns into buttons. As you can see, the drop-down option for your product that is not appealing to look at, right? In this step, we're going to convert the drop-downs into buttons just by installing a plugin. To do that, head back to the dashboard. 
click on add new plugin. Then search for variation swatches. And you will find the variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. Now install and activate it. Then come back to your product page and refresh the page. Here it goes. The drop down option has been converted into buttons. Doesn't it look more attractive? Step 5 Show real colors and images. What if we can show our customers the real colors and images alongside button options? In this step, we are going to make this happen too. To do so, go back to your dashboard and click Attributes. We need to edit the color, pattern and size attributes. First, let's edit the color attribute. Here, convert the type option from select to color and press update button. Now, configure your colors by picking up the actual color instead of the name only. When you are done with that, let's move on to the pattern attribute. Again, convert the type option from select to image and press update button. Now, configure your pattern name by choosing the actual images one by one. We have opted out the images for this specific product. You can pick your own. After the customization of the color and pattern attributes, head back to your product page and refresh it. Look, all the real colors and images are shown instead of buttons that you converted earlier. Now let's see some attractive usage of variation swatches for WooCommerce. Usage 1. Swatches size. You can increase your swatches size according to your need. To increase the size, go back to the styling tab of the swatches settings. Here you will find the product page swatches size option. Now, change the width and height from the box. Then click Save Changes button. Now, head back to the product page. Refresh it. See, the swatches sizes have been increased. Usage 2. Shape the swatches style. Right now all the swatches are in squared shape. To change the shape, go to the general tab of swatches settings. Here check the rounded shape button just beside the shape style option. Then click the save changes button. Now go back to the product page and refresh it. Look, the beautiful rounded shape buttons appeared. Usage 3. Enable tooltip. You can see the tooltip appears while hover over any swatches. You can disable this setting by going back to the general tab of swatches settings. Next, uncheck the enable tooltip box. Then click save changes button. Now, to see the changes, head back to the product page and refresh the page. See no tooltip appears now. Usage 4. Drop downs to buttons. 
You can also convert any of the buttons into drop downs if you need. Make sure you choose the select option in the type column under attribute setup. For this tutorial, let's convert the size attribute buttons into drop downs option. To do that, click the attributes under the products links. Then click edit of the size attribute. Now change the button option to select. Click update button. Now click on swatches settings. Under the general tab, you will find drop downs to buttons option. Now uncheck the box. Click on Save Changes button. Go back to your product page and refresh the page. Look, here's the drop downs option appeared. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned with J2 Plugins.